CU football pays the bills at the University of Colorado and uh, Dan Hawkins needs to start winning right away. He came here from Boise State nine months ago where he had an incredible amount of success over the last five years. At his introductory press conference, he was talking about winning national championships at CU again, producing Heisman Trophy winners. So, Neil, does he have the juice? Oh, yeah, the Hawk. I mean, there's going to be a lot of Hawk love around this town before Dan Hawkins is done talking, Dan, coaching at the University of Colorado. Uh, I think Hawk has a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. I think he's going to get people interested in the CU football program again. But is getting them interested enough? You're right. He does have a lot of juice. He's a media darling. People love talking with him. He's a quote a minute. But now it comes down to what his team does on the field. Well, it's like any other coach. Now it comes down to wins and losses. You can be the greatest guy in the world, but if you don't win, if you don't win some football games, people aren't going to pay to watch you play. Uh, I think Dan Hawkins is going to win football games here. Dan Hawkins has been a winner wherever he has been. He has recruited players at whatever level necessary to win football games there. I don't see any reason to think that Dan Hawkins can't do that same type of thing here at the University of Colorado. So far, though, he's recruiting the level of player that Gary Barnett was. He has 10 commitments for his first true recruiting class, which is the 2007 class, and none of them are rated above three stars, and that's one of the problems that, that Gary Barnett seemed to have. I think it's like well, I was talking with Darian Hagan the other day, and Darian Hagan said this. Darian said that when you recruit, you go after the one big fish. You keep on throwing your line out there. You keep on throwing your line out there. You finally get that one big fish to come into the program. When you reel him in, others will follow. It was, go it was just like in 1982, 83, when Bill McCartney was recruiting here. McCartney went through some lean years of recruiting. He got the good Colorado kids first. He got the Eric McCartys. He, got, he had people like that come in. Then he had the class with Darian Hagan, and then he had J.J. Flanagan, he had Canavis McGee, he had those type of players. It's not going to happen overnight. This is a long process. People, he's not going to recruit so, the top class in the nation right away. So you got to get one of those fish you've on your get, line before the rest of them start you've flopping get, you've into got your got lap, it, like Mac Brown, exactly. you've like got to get, Bob Stoops at Oklahoma. Exactly. You've got to get that one big fish. You keep on throwing your line out there. When you land that one big fish, and these are Darian Hagen's word, as soon as you land that one big fish, the others start looking at it and go, hey, you know, that's a place that I want to be. When they land that first big player, others will follow. And I think he's on the right track right now. If you look at the recruiting list, he's talking to kids that have an interest here. I'm not saying they're going to come here right away but they will have an interest the next step is getting that first kid to come here and that's when hawk will let start landing a bit uh, you know good recruiting classes hawkins strikes me as a guy who relates well with today's kid he's constantly text messaging kids he's sending them emails he's a popular guy in the media obviously he's always got something good to you know quotable to say he knows what's happening out there with these kids he's in touch with you know, what they like to do, their video games. He plays those sorts of things with them. What have you been your the most Im The most impressive thing about Dan Hawk is to me so far is that he's been able to walk the fine line of having a good time with these kids. They're out there, they're hitting golf balls at each other in practice. They're sliding through the snow. But when push comes to shove and somebody crosses that line that Dan Hawkins has drawn, let's ask Jarrett Burrell today, let's ask Tyrone Henderson this weekend, when he comes to town with Montana State, what happens when you cross that line? And I think Dan, uh, Coach Hawkins has made it very clear. You cross that line, you will no longer be part of this program. He's drawn that line. It's a solid line. There's not going to be any messing around. But he also knows how to have fun, and I think kids can relate to that. They see that, that this guy means business, but they also see that he's uh, willing to have a little fun. And, and when you talk about coaches having fun, remember Mac Brown is the guy that was rap singing in the locker room with the University of Texas a year ago.